Hey guys, it's me. I thought I would do a quick um, review over some products that I've bought lately. Um, and I know I look like crap right now because it's Sunday and it's my day off and I really just don't care. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> there has been um, quite a few um, reviews over this product. And I don't think any of them have really been that great, to be honest. So I thought I would do my own. Some of you guys are probably familiar with Smashbox's uh, face primer. And um, one of my friends, Emma, actually gave me this tip. And I tried it out. And it is um, Monistat's Chafing Relief Powder and Gel. Now, it sounds really disgusting because it's Monistat and we all know what that's for. Um, but honestly, this is like... A godsend it's amazing um, what it is is it's a primer for your foundation um, and for your concealers and your powders um, it has the exact same ingredients as Smashbox um, you compare them exactly the same and I think Smashbox is, is between 43 and 48 this is five dollars a target um, and it's for 1.5 ounces. Um, now I have seen some reviews that people say that they're going to break out um, with this or they have broken out with it. I have had no issues with it. Actually my skin looks a lot better now that I've started using it. Um, I do recommend though if you are going to use this you need to up your facial hygiene I guess is what you could say it. Your facial regimen. Um, I use <clears throat> I use some type of like off-brand um, astringent. It's like a blue color. I don't know what it is. It's from the dollar store. Works just as fine as any other astringent you'll have. Um, I use I use for face soap. It's some type of purple stuff that comes in a pump. I don't even know what it's called. It's in my um, it's in my proactive bottle. I just put it in there because it was a lot easier than using a pump in the shower because your hands are wet, things will slide. So I just put it in um, that bottle and use it that way. Um, and then I do use a moisturizer every time I get out of the shower and if my thin skin, if my skin feels dry. Um, but yeah, I take a lot more care in my skin than I used to and it really does make a difference. So, um, but this stuff is amazing. Like, your foundation will glide on and stay on so well. I have a problem where my skin gets dried out, like, in here, and it gets all, like, flaky. And I don't use, like, a really expensive foundation. I do use, um, MAC for my concealer because I do have some red spots here and here and a little bit up here. Um, so I need a little bit better coverage. Um, but I just use a regular, like, um, drugstore concealer. I don't even know what I use. Um, but this stuff is a godsend. Um, so I would go out and get it. It's amazing. Forget the name. Put it in another bottle. I don't care. It just, it's a godsend. Um, my next thing that I wanted to review was Wet n Wild. Now, we all know Wet n Wild is like, you know, kind of, it used to be kind of a crappy line. It was like a kid's makeup. Um, they went through a couple months ago and actually reformulated their whole line of makeup. Um, most of it I've actually been pretty happy with. It's actually been pretty good. Um, I went up and picked up the Color Icon 6, I guess, palette. Um, and I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, the white is not as pigmented as I would like it to be. Um, but it's nonetheless, it's pretty good. Um, the one of these I'm not sure which one I think it's this one is a dupe for one of the matte colors um, I know that one of their other palettes has like four dupes for MAC in it which is pretty damn impressive um, but they're $4.99 at like Walgreens and I'm actually pretty happy with it um, like I've said before their cream eyeliner or gel eyeliner whatever you want to call it I think it's crap um, I really absolutely hate it it's just thick and tarry and just you have to go over it a couple times to get like a nice black line and even then it's just it's goopy and it looks gross um so I stick with MAC or Bobbi Brown because it's just it's crap um <clears throat> but yeah now that they've reformulated this it's actually it's actually pretty good I'm I'm digging it and for five bucks I think it's a little spendy for what and while, but maybe they up their prices because they reformulated. I mean, if it was like three bucks, I'd be super stoked about it. Um, but I think they have four, possibly five of these. I'm not sure. I want to say four, though. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty decent. Um, now, the thing I've always had problems with was trying to find a really bright yellow eyeshadow because I'm so pale, the yellow is just, I don't know, they tend to wash out on me a little bit. Um, so I went and bought the L'Oreal High Impact Pigment um, in Striking, is what I got. Now I thought that the other color in here, these are kind of hard to open too, maybe I'm just retarded, I don't know, there we go. I thought that the other color in here was like a black, but it's actually like a purple, and I'll swatch it. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's like a purple. Um, so I was kind of disappointed because I don't wear a lot of purple um, for my eyeshadow. I mean, I do occasionally, but it's not like this like deep plum. Um, and this is the yellow. I'm kind of, I don't know. It's like four swipes. I don't know. It's not not as great as I would like it to be, but I mean, I guess it works for now. Um, the only yellow that I've actually found that I really, really like was Ofra's. And I don't get the Ofra kit in school for another, I think, six months. So I'm, like, stuck using this for now. I mean, it's okay. And it was on sale $3 off. Normally, I think they're, like, 8 bucks, And I got it for, like, $4.99-ish. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. And I have <clears throat> another one by them. The purple's kind of the same. But it's, like, a shimmery purple. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. It's like, I don't know, it's kind of a shimmery purple. And then it comes with like gold. And the gold's pretty, but I don't know what I'd use it for. I'm not much of a gold wearer. Um, but it's not bad. And I guess I should swatch these. Um, like, there's the white. That's just one swipe. Um, is this is like the shimmery white that it comes with. Um... This is like, I don't know, kind of like a seafoam green. And you'll see it's like, it's super pigmented. Um, and then this is like the shimmery green with gums. I guess it's like half shimmer, half um, mattes. And then I got some on my other finger, but that's like, they're navy. That's pretty damn pigmented. And then this is like, they're shimmery navy. But yeah, it's it's not bad by any means. It's not bad. You just gotta make sure you use a proper like primer on your eyes. And I always wear primers, so um the other thing that I wanted to rave about is Rusk. This is the product that we use at our school, and I absolutely love Rusk for the most part. Um their permanent hair color is it's iffy. I mean my hair was dyed black, like a level one black. It's alright. It's kind of faded a little bit, but it's not brown. Um, but anyways, um, Rusk has come out with a line similar to Manic Panic. And I am in love with it. It is so pigmented. It stays in your hair forever. Um, you're, like, you're going to have big problems trying to get this out if you want to change your hair. But if you want to keep that hair color, you're like good to go. This is their line. It's called Scream. And you'll probably scream because you can't get it out. Um, but this one is actually a mixture between hot pink, magenta, and red. Because that's all we had left at our school, and there's just a little bit of each one. Um, and that's what I have in my hair. This is, like, a month of washout, so it's still super bright. And, like, the green you're seeing uh, up here is a Wella, like, temporary color, and it's crap. You can see it in my other videos. Um, it washes out right away. I absolutely hate it, so I need to get the turquoise by Scream. But... This stuff is, like, amazing. Um, as far as I know, you can't buy it on the shelves. You can buy it at, like, distributors, like, Aerials and Peels. And I think there's, like, one other place. I can't remember. But in order to do that, you need to know somebody that's a licensed cosmetologist to be able to get in there. Um, I'm able to get in there because I'm a student, so I guess students can get in there as well. Um, but this stuff's amazing, and it's, like... I don't know. I think at the, like, the stores it's probably like three bucks. I know our school sells it for seven. Yeah, seven bucks for a bottle of it. And it lasts like a long time. You really won't have to use too much and you won't really have to go over it quite a bit. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, those are um, my makeup reviews for today. Those are just a couple things that I've picked up lately that I've absolutely like fell in love with. They're amazing.